they say, Ayo, Ayo, here we go.
Well, I'd just like to give a wonderful thank you to Mark. I have always, always wanted to make music with him. And I uh, was right. <laughs> I like being right. Uh, we wrote this song about my father's sister, uh, Joanne, who passed away in 1974. Uh, she was a, a victim of uh, sexual assault who um, was so traumatized by her experience that it flared up her existing disease. She had lupus and she died very quickly after that. This tragedy stayed with my family a very long time. I come from a long heritage, a very hard working, blue collar Americans, Italian Americans. My family came over from Italy through Ellis Island, my grandparents. And uh, we wrote this song, not only in her honor, but in the honor of so many people who have lost ones that they love, or maybe there's a pending loss. But it's so terrifying. She just never want to say goodbye. And I remember when I was thinking about what to name the album, I said, I just keep thinking it's supposed to be, you know, so, uh, and I sort of stumbled, you know, it's like I couldn't get it out because it's so personal. I was afraid to share that, you know? And I said, I just think it's called to, supposed to be, and you know, Mark and I both just kind of said, Joanne. <laughs> and um, I'll never forget that moment because, you know, when you make a song with somebody that, you know, understands you on a deep level and embraces you truly as an artist and as a woman in music, he really lifted me high and showed me a lot of dignity and I've worked for, with music for a long time. And so I just want to say thank you to you for that. We wrote this song together. Uh, I'd like to dedicate it to my father, Joe.
loves you so much. I'm so happy to be here tonight. So happy that we made it. We had a little car trouble. That's an old car, you know. You know that Elvis, he loaned me his car for tonight's show. I know that's a long, far way to come to loan me something. All the way from heaven. Yeah, let me go. This one here. Well, you know, I wrote this song about boys. Oh, what? Boys. Boys have a bad rap tonight. <laughs> so sorry, boys. But I also wrote this song about a great man, too, John Wayne. You know, it's just like, I just love a cowboy, you know what I mean? I just like, I can't stop. It's like, I want them so bad, but they go too fast, and then they're too slow, and I'm like, could you go a little faster? Three M Mustang speed and two lovers headed for a dead end. Too fast, hold tight, he laughs, running through the red lights, hollering over rubber spinning. Big swig, toss another beer can. Too late tonight. It's just the same I'm sick of their city games I crave a real wild man I'm strung out on two That city thing, that city thing That city thing, that Baby, let's get Like a mugshot, charge up cause the man's on a mission One, two, yeah, the gears are shifting He called, I cried, we broke Racing through the moonlight, every dawn is just the same I'm sick of their city games, I crave a real wild man I'm strung out on Johnway That city thing, that city thing, that city Baby, 
To the vocal boy, his own candy. How you doing tonight, Nashville? What kind of good time you have? You having a good time? from New York City, you know, coming through Nashville. 
But if you could do me this favor. Tonight, if you could just call me Joanne. song with a, a Nashville native. <laughs> Hillary Lindsay. <laughs> we sat on a couch together. We were going back and forth, guitar, piano. And we were going a lot of these men, you know? Yeah. All these men, my dad, my boyfriends, all the men in my life, they gave me a million reasons. But I just need one good one to stick around. Yeah. But you're giving me a million yeah. to walk away. Ladies and gentlemen, Hillary Lindsay. Well, I definitely drank a lot of Bud Light right in this song. <laughs> Bud Light since I was like, I'm not going to say how old, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> I just got some wicked looks. You're giving me a million reasons to let you go. Try to make the world 
came down the mountain, dragging our love affair. Got on a pretty little number I'm wearing still. It was a hell of a scene. a funny way saying forever too fast don't get mad can't blame a tramp for something he don't have I get on my knees and beg you hear my sinner's prayer She's in too deep Her love for him ain't cheap But it breaks Just like a knockoff piece From Fulton Street The man's got a gift For getting what he wants He's thirsty when he drinks Gets on the brink And throws her off I get on my knees And beg you Hear my sinner's prayer
this song about people loving each other and taking care of each other. And you know, the election's coming up. And I really hope that that is a peaceful day. As much as it can be, I pray that on that day, we all understand that not everybody is gonna vote for the same person. Everybody has different ideas and thoughts and that's okay. We don't have to hate each other because of that. What we have to do is come together. And the reason is because there's a lot of people suffering and there's too many angels down. So let's not focus on the hate. Let's focus on who we need to help. Brave on angel catch to welcome to the stage Hillary Lindsay. Get over here. What are you doing back there? You know, I've been playing here um, since I was 15 years old. We all miss Kenny, who used to run this place. Thank you so much to everyone who came out to support me over the years here. Uh, this is where I started. And I, I truly cannot believe that you guys moved the grand piano for me that has never been moved off this stage before as long as I've known its existence. So thank you. Um, this next song is very special to me, um, uh, and for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, this uh, shirt that I'm wearing tonight, this is the, uh, the logo I used to wear back in the day. This is the vintage Bud Light logo. And um, it reminds me of, you know, being young and growing up in New York and going to New Jersey and, you know, hanging out with my, my family and uh, my, my parents taught me, and my sister taught me a lot about compassion and love. And I want to thank Bud Light because they're letting me sing a song tonight called Grigio Girls. <laughs> Which means you're showing an awful lot of fucking compassion this evening. I must say, I believe that, uh, the, that Pinot Grigio is a grape, not a brand, so, you know, it should be okay. Uh, but thank you, because I wrote this song about my dear friend Sonia, who's here with us tonight. Uh, and she's been so kind uh, to let me share this story with the world, and Bud Light has been so kind to let uh, us share this story. Sonia has stage four cancer, uh, and it's in her uh, brain, and in her lungs, and in her breasts, and she's like, I don't, you know, I don't know. She's, but look at her face, she's in such good spirits, and she's so beautiful. And um, I wrote this, with Hillary Lindsay, my friend here, who was trying to hide in the corner, but she came. <laughs> uh, and we were writing it because uh, we were laying around one night, and uh, all the girls had gotten together, but Sonia wasn't there. And it was because sometimes we needed to get together without her to cry, because we didn't want her to see us cry. We just wanted to be strong for you always. Um, so we formed this pack with each other that when we needed to, we would uh, call together the Grigio girls and cry it out. 
So this one's for you, and I hope that this message spreads all around the world to spread love and compassion and healing to people around you and to not be afraid of deep things because people are suffering and they need to know that you care. This one's for you. I love you. Mr. Mark Bronson, thank you very much. He didn't want to be up here during the other songs that he wrote with me, I don't know why. <laughs> I uh, think this is a real special tune. Uh, are you gonna sing? this song so much. I wrote this song looking out over Central Park and um, from my uh, apartment now I can see my old house where I grew up with my family and it just so happens that uh, Mark and I went to the same uh, school at one point. He did go to a boys school and I went to a, a girls school but the preschool was co-ed. <laughs> And uh, so I went to uh, preschool at Mark's school, and uh, we're really neighbors, um, because also I lived two blocks away from one of his best friends, Sean Lennon, and I used to uh, walk by the Imagine Memorial probably three times a week, and just sit there and look at the memorial, and I would, I'd catch, um, Yoko sometimes with a, a really wide-brimmed hat on, walking uh, in Central Park, and she would bring flowers, I think, every day. And there was this homeless guy, I think he's still there. <laughs> he would decorate the memorial every day with the flowers that she brought. It's so beautiful. And I... Um, I don't know why, but even though Mark and I didn't know each other, then I used to kind of, when we were writing this record, I would imagine us as kids kicking it around in the city. And um, this song is called Just Another Day. <laughs> Today I won't be so hard on me 